Now, forget about the Kraken and monsters from the deep. I know, it's hard, but try. And you can forget about the Bermuda Triangle and other marine anomalies. They are nothing compared to rogue waves. Giant walls of water that suddenly appear and just as suddenly disappear on the sea surface. The destructive power of this phenomenon remained a mystery to humankind for a long time. But it appears that scientists have solved this secret. A rogue wave is a wave that exceeds at least twice all the surrounding waves. If you imagine the world ocean like a video game, then ordinary waves are your opponents. But the rogue one is a super boss. For centuries, hundreds and thousands of ships have gone missing during their voyages. People have made up a lot of legends about what was the cause of marine disasters. Sea monsters, underwater anomalies, mermaids, hmm. But today, scientists are increasingly inclined to believe that rogue waves are the main cause of unusual shipwrecks and missing ships. Some believe sailor stories about anomaly waves, well, others didn't. But no one could prove their existence. However, everything changed in 1995 when a giant wall of water 85 feet high collapsed on an oil production platform off the coast of Norway. The waves around this monster were 39 feet high. In other words, the monster wave was about the size of a nine-story building, and the neighboring ones measured about four floors high. The oil platform wasn't destroyed, but the wave showed it could cause considerable damage to any buildings. Immediately after that, people began to study the phenomenon of rogue waves. However, in the beginning, instead of answers, scientists got even more questions. So what's so mysterious about this phenomenon? We know how ordinary waves work. What's the problem with finding out the nature of rogue ones? Well, in fact, the difference between them is huge. Ordinary coastal waves are very predictable. They form because of the wind and the uneven landscape of the seabed. Depending on the depth, terrain, distance to the shore, and wind strength, the size and speed of the wave increase. These waves are safe. If they're not big, you can surf. If they are big, then you'll see them in advance and run out of the water, like me. Rogue ones, unfortunately, are almost unpredictable. They can appear suddenly, even during a calm sea. They appear not only on the coastline, but also in the open ocean, like a high-water cliff. The conditions for the appearance of these monsters are very chaotic. When several waves combine their energy into one, it creates a rogue wave. But this process cannot be predetermined or predicted. How is this energy formed? How is it released? And how much of this energy is needed? The questions are too complicated. Now, to try to figure it out, you can place a special buoy with sensors that scan wave data in the water. Then, you need to wait for the rogue wave to appear. And you don't know if it's going to happen or not. Fortunately, it happened off the coast of Vancouver Island. This monster, which was named the Euculet Wave, was three times the size of the surrounding waves and had a height of 58 feet. Proportionately, it was one of the most gigantic rogue waves ever recorded. And do you think that buoy with sensors helped to determine the nature of rogue waves? Of course not. It just showed the wave's data. In order to solve the mystery, a group of scientists from the University of Melbourne went to Antarctica. And this time, they managed to find something. They brought the most modern equipment for studying weather conditions in water. They installed powerful stereo cameras on the icebreaker SA Augulus II and obtained three-dimensional images of the ocean surface. Now, observations showed that the formation of rogue waves began when small waves were most susceptible to wind. That is, waves of varied sizes and directions meet the wind, which makes several small waves combine with one large one. It grows faster using this received energy. This is not just a combination of waves, but also their physical effect on one another. Scientists call this nonlinear effects. To get closer to the solution, the scientists also used the fourth-order Stokes theory, which speaks about more complex interactions of waves and their energy accumulation. The theory didn't help much, but it made the whole study more… strange. Scientists realized that small waves fed off one another. Then some waves became bigger than the rest 
and took away all the energy. This process is called modulation instability, and it explains why rogue waves appear so suddenly, as if out of nowhere. Still, scientists admit that even this information isn't enough for them to fully explain these giant waves. Now, long story short, oops, too late, the wind pushes younger waves together, causing them to grow higher and increasing their speed. One wave steals the energy from the rest, and boom! A giant rogue wave appears, looking disproportionately huge compared to the others. It hits a boat, an oil rig, or the surface of the ocean and spills out all that energy. And that's it. Silence again. The existence of such a phenomenon has convinced scientists that rogue waves are the cause of many shipwrecks at sea. Now, seriously, think for yourself. When a ship gets into a storm, the captain reports it by radio and makes records in the logbook. But when a ship suddenly disappears from radar without any warnings about harsh weather, then it might have met a giant rogue wave. They're not tied to any particular location. They are sudden and unpredictable, and this makes them some of the greatest dangers in the ocean. So what do we do now? How can ships, beaches, and oil production stations be protected? How to predict the appearance of a wave? Well, the answer is crest-trough correlation. It sounds incredibly difficult, but it's actually simple. The highest part of the wave is the crest. The lowest part of the wave is the trough. The idea is to measure how closely the ridges relate to the troughs. With strong correlation, waves form in dense groups. There are several regular waves and one or two large ones in the center. These conditions are ideal for the appearance of a rogue wave. Now, it seems obvious that scientists should use some instruments to measure the troughs and crests on the waves. It seems quite complicated, but in fact, these crest-to-trough correlations can be studied by watching the weather and currents. Scientists hope that they'll be able to predict the appearance of rogue waves using the same systems they need to predict the weather. So you can take a breath. It seems we're safe. Or not. Given how the weather of our planet is changing, scientists expect an increase in wave height in the North Pacific Ocean. This will contribute to the appearance of giant rogue waves, even bigger than the ones people observe off the coast of Norway. How much bigger? One and a half times? Two and three times? Well, you better sit down. Scientists conducted experimental studies and found out that these waves can get four times larger than previously thought. Could the 85-foot-high wave recorded in 1995 be four times taller? It's hard to believe, but let's just imagine it theoretically. A rogue wave with a height of 340 feet may appear in the middle of a storm. This is more than the height of the Statue of Liberty from the pedestal to the tip of the torch. Such a giant wave can pull any ship underwater in a second and easily destroy an oil station. It can throw the Kraken or Megalodon out of the ocean like a stuffed toy. But how is it different from a tsunami? Well, a tsunami is born during seismic activity at the seabed. Such a wave grows, gains speed, and then crashes onto the shore. It's predictable, and you can spot it from afar. So let's hope that scientists will be able to predict the appearance of rogue waves in advance and warn ships not to sail into the risk zone. Ordinary people who live in coastal towns and relax on the beach are also at risk. In the future, they'll have to look not only at the weather forecast, but also at the risk of giant waves. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.